I think Michelle Obama wants to run for president right now. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about former first lady Michelle Obama possibly signaling that she's going to run for president right now this year, 2024. Now, there's a few questions you may have. First of all, what did she say this? She said it on the Jay Shetty podcast. I don't know who this man is. I have never seen him before a day in my life until right now. This is my very first time ever seeing this man. We'll get to that particular video in a minute. But also, hey, don't they already have Joe Biden? Have you seen Joe Biden? Like, literally, have you seen this man? This guy is pretty much on his last leg. If last leg and I'm barely hanging on and hanging on by thread was a person, it would be Joseph Biden. I mean, good grief. This guy is decrepit as decrepit can be. So I don't think the Democratic Party has a lot of faith in this man. They didn't have faith in him before he ran in 2020, and he barely got through that. They put him in the basement and let him run from there. Now he's the incumbent. He probably won't do any campaign stops at all. He might go to Philly, which is right next door to where he lives in Wilmington when he's not in the White House, and do a couple of talks from there for about five minutes. That would be the extent of his campaigning, if he can do any of that. And again, he is, what, 81 years old? I think it'd be 82 this year. At the end of a possible second term, he'd be 86 years old. And he's already as old as dirt. And again, hanging on by a thread. So I think they want to put Michelle Obama in there to have a person that can actually campaign and do stuff and win in their eyes, in their point of view. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into the actual clip. Jay Shetty, please don't give me no copyright. I will link to your full podcast in the box if you guys want to see it. Uh, if you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. What is the thing that keeps you up at night now? Or what is, is your biggest fear now after having overcome so many? It has less to do with me personally and more to do with the world that we're in. There's so This is many, many years of media training. Someone who was trained to go into politics. So I don't think she really wants to run, but I feel like she has the tools needed to do it. So if they want to activate her and say, okay, it's your time now. Your man already had two terms. He's done. Let's activate you. And remember, Joe Biden... One, because of South Carolina, all the black folks, which was the majority of the Democrat vote in that state, they revived his campaign because they know him from Barack Obama. Barack Obama is beloved in the black community, and that's why they like Joe Biden, because he was linked to Obama. And Michelle, same thing. She is an Obama. That name still holds a lot of weight. Let's keep on going. Such a thing as knowing too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you've been married to the president of the United States who knows everything about everything in the world, sometimes you just want to turn it off. You know too much. Right. It's <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't want to know what was in that folder that you just got that made you quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to know why the security just pulled you over. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be any range of things that comes across the desk of the leader of the free world, right? This is somebody that's getting ready to run for president. I mean, I could tell we've not even gotten to what she really said about politics specifically and what makes her stay up at night. We've not gotten to that part yet, but the way she's talking, this is how a person running for office would speak. Right. So I know a lot about what's going on and what keeps me up are the things that I know. Mm -hmm. um, the war in the region in too many regions. What is AI going to do for us? The environment, you know, are we moving at all fast enough? What are we doing about education? There we have it. Like, you got, you got a lot going on. You're talking about wars. That's a big thing. You're talking about AI. You're talking about education. You're talking about things. These are hot button political issues, very much so. And she's talking about all of it right now. This is more than Joe Biden would do in a press conference. She's on the podcast right here. And to be clear, this entire podcast was more about mental health. That was, I think, the whole purpose. That's what this guy does. Again, this guy, Jay Shetty, 
I have never seen them before a day in my life. This is my very first time ever seeing this man's face or hearing this man's voice. But from what I read, the podcast is more centered on mental health. But you're Michelle Obama. You may want to become president right now in 2024, maybe beyond 2024, 2028. So you're going to just put it out there. Are people going to vote? And why aren't people voting? Are we too stuck to our phones? I mean, those are yeah. the things that yeah. keep me up because you, you don't have control over them. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you don't have control over them, but do you want to have a voice? Do you want to be in the driver's seat of the government so you're able to have a little bit of control? I mean, you can't necessarily control people like puppeteering, but if you are the president, if you are the leader of the free world the same way your husband was, then you would have more say-so than being on the outside looking in and just worrying about certain things, okay? And you wonder, where are people, where are we in this? You know, where are our hearts? What's going to happen in this next election? I am terrified about what could possibly happen because our leaders matter. Who we select, who speaks for us, who holds that bully pulpit, it affects us in ways that I, sometimes I think people take for granted. So, I mean, look, you, she's saying everything. So she's concerned about who holds the bully pulpit, who holds the bully pulpit, who's going to be um, our voice, the voice of the people, the leader of the free world. She's worried about that. It keeps her up at night. It scares her. So you like, if you're saying it to somebody, you're, you're talking to a regular norm, a regular person, they're going to say, well, why don't you, do it. Okay. You're not constricted by the two term limit that your husband had. You've not been president before. You know what to do. You have the experience by being the first lady. You're right there with him standing by his side. Even though for 10 years, you didn't like the guy you're right there by his side. You know what it takes to be in politics. This is the same thing that Hillary Clinton tried to do. I think Michelle Obama would have more success. Now, would she win? I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't think so, but Hillary Clinton did not have success for a lot of reasons, but I think Michelle Obama would have more success than she did. And Hillary Clinton was still, what, a senator in New York and then Secretary of State, although she's from Wisconsin somewhere. Michelle Obama could do the same thing that Hillary Clinton did, but maybe even at a bigger level. You know, the fact that people think that government, eh, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really even do anything. And I'm like, oh, my God, does government do everything for us? And we cannot take this democracy for granted. And sometimes I, I worry that we do. Those are the things mm. that keep me up. Well, so, so there you have it. There's more to this podcast. I won't play the entire thing here because they're going to get more into mental health, all that kind of stuff. But that's the general gist of what's going on. And again, this guy right here, his name is Jay Shetty. This is his podcast. And they talk more about mental health throughout. But that little piece right there, I mean, to me, it says she wants to become the president. And I've seen a few other things from her recently over the past few days, weeks, months, maybe even years from Michelle Obama, where she's hinting at it. All right. And if Joe Biden drops out, which could happen because, you know, you never know. 2024, I said it last year. I said it in 2022. 2024 is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot going on. You'll see some things that may shock you. I'm hearing rumors about DeSantis dropping out. If he loses an eye, which he, he will lose an eye to Trump. I'm hearing about him possibly dropping out. I'm hearing about Joe Biden dropping out because of health reasons. And obviously Kamala Harris. I mean, truthfully, look, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not going to vote for anybody on that side. But if you had a pistol to my head and say, hey, ABL, vote for that person or this person, who would be the best one? And if I had to be honest, I'm going to say Michelle Obama over Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is a complete moron, a total moron. Michelle Obama, not as bad. And you have the experience by being the first lady. So at least you understand how things operate inside the White House. This lady, Kamala Harris, is just a cackling machine, an idiot. Michelle Obama, not so much. But again, I would not vote for either one of them. But I think the American people who want to vote Democrat, who like Democrats, think the same way I think when it comes to who's better. If you got to pick between three as I close, you got to pick between Joe Biden, Kamala Harris and Michelle Obama. It's going to be easy decision. Michelle Obama all day long. 
You got the Obama name. You got the family. You got Barack. You got the kids. Familiarity. Many years. They loved you. They still love you. There's no love in the black household for this Indian lady named Kamala Harris. But there is love in the black household and in many other colors household for Michelle Obama. So will she run? It's most certainly looking like it. And if she's not going to run, then I can't tell. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that Michelle Obama will run for president this year, 2024, replacing Joe Biden, replacing Kamala Harris? Will Kamala Harris be the running mate? Who would she pick for a running mate? That'd be pretty interesting. Uh, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. It's pretty obvious that she wants to run. She wants to run. But then I guess the question would be, Will the Democratic establishment allow her in? Will they hold on to their decrepit guy who's pretty much, again, if on my last leg was a person, it would be Joe Biden. Will they hold on to him and make him be the nominee for this year, 2024? Or will they request that he drops out and replace him with Michelle Obama or someone else? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.